hey lovelies welcome back to my channel i'm bibra your favorite wig plug in a few minutes i'll show you guys how i make a 2x4 closure with lining vertical method if this sounds like what you might be interested in definitely watch till the end First, let me take a few seconds to welcome all new subscribers. You're welcome. On this channel, I share hair tips, wig tips, DIYs and tutorials. And to returning viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos. I was in a rush to finish this up and deliver to my client before I realized I have to shoot this video for you guys. So basically, this pattern of ventilating has to do with ventilating on the vertical lines of the lace, just as I am doing here. I just want to show you guys what it looks like having gone this far on this side of the picture, but I'll skip it and start right from the base on the other side. Guys, this is what I mean by the base of a closure. The base is the bottom part of a closure, it is usually ventilated densely so it can cover the sewed wefts properly. The base is going to be ventilated in the holes for this closure. Ventilating the holes will give the hair strands a backward direction, but ventilating on the lines will give the hair strands a direction that faces the sides. So right now I'm ventilating in the holes in a slant manner. Please observe carefully what I'm doing. Let me zoom in so you can see better. I am ventilating in all holes for this slant line. When I get to the end, I'll skip one slant line and begin the next, still ventilating in all holes. I'll do this till I am satisfied that the base is covered up properly. Usually, I do 10 slant lines with a space in between each slant line. I'm still doing 10 slant lines for this, just that I made some adjustments so that the pattern for this closure will look longer. I would like to point out that it is not compulsory to skip slant lines like I'm doing. You can decide to ventilate on all holes for the base, but please make sure that it is covered up properly. Okay, I just finished the slant line and I'm starting the next. Just pay attention to how I do it. Now, I'll begin ventilating the body of the closure. This goes towards the side to cover the hair webs that will be sewn to the side of this closure. I'll be ventilating vertically while using lining method. First, I'll ventilate along the guideline you can see on this pattern paper. This will serve as my first line. I have a video on how I made this pattern paper. You can go ahead and watch it.
Once you ventilate on the guideline, which is a straight line, you will be able to tell where to ventilate next. For this, the guideline was my first line. I left no space while ventilating vertically, but I left a line space before the next line. Guys, remember that when I was ventilating the base of the closure, I ventilated slant lines and I ventilated in the holes. While ventilating in the holes, I did not leave any space. But I left one slant line empty before moving to the next. It's the same process for this lining method. Right now, I'm ventilating on the lines. I'm ventilating in all holes on the lines. But when I want to move to the next, I will leave a line empty, then move to the next and continue like that. Guys, as you can see, it's forming up really well. So I will continue ventilating vertically till I get to the front line of the closure. But there is something I would like to point out while ventilating the body of the closure for this lining method. It can get really tricky. So always ensure you have same number of lines on both sides of the closure with one line as the center pattern. What I mean by this is the number of lines should be an odd number instead of an even number because sometimes when you ventilate and get to the middle you will discover that there are two lines left instead of one and that can't serve as our center part because it will be too wide except your client wants it that way for the lining vertical method the ideal center part should be one line at least that is what i prefer so guys always make sure you count the number of lines you have so you avoid any errors okay or for a start you could ventilate backwards that is from the center part back to the guideline that way you can avoid any errors as well so you could do any of that whichever works best for you so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial in my next video i'll be showing you guys how i finish this closure up so please stay tuned if this video was helpful i would appreciate your feedbacks leave a comment in the comment section also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're yet to subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye